You might have multiple Discord accounts, maybe one to manage your YouTube Discord channel, link in the description. You might have one for your personal life, and you might have one to mess around with themes and plugins using better Discord. And the only unfortunate thing about having multiple accounts is that you can't get notifications on all three at the same time. Well, fortunately, you can actually run up to three Discord accounts at the same time using the Discord app, S plural. And it's apps because Discord has three branches of releases. They have the stable release, which most of you use. There's the PTB, which is the public test beta, which some people use. And there is Discord Canary, which is an alpha build. And it's a little unstable, but at least it works for now. So to start off, you need to go to the link in the description and you will see this page here. This is the download page for Discord but you need to scroll down and you will notice feeling experimental. Uh, personally not, but I've tried butt stuff. Anywho, click on the download public test build and click on Windows and it will download for you. Now, I have already used the PTB and that's what I'm using currently, but I'm gonna show you how to download the Canary version and the installation steps will be exactly the same. Discord has made this extremely easy on me to teach you. So the second link in the description, or maybe the third, depending on where I put the Discord one, you'll see Discord Canary download. And you need to click on that link, and I'm just going to enter it here, and it will automatically download Discord Canary. Now you gotta wait for it to download, which kind of sucks, but we can have a little bit of small talk. How's your day been? Mine's been pretty good. The power went out, it was a little sad. I've done nothing else with my life other than just sit there here and mope about power. But anywho, once it's done downloading, all you need to do, believe it or not, is just click on it and give it a little bit because what happens is that Discord has their super special installer uh, technology and that basically just installs Discord and gives you updates. And lo and behold, once it's done, you will see you now have another instance of Discord. Now I'm going to minimize my browser and maximize this. And you see now I can log into another account. I can have three discords at the same time. Now, just to show you that this isn't some fancy movie magic. Um, first off, I'm awful at that. So at least you can trust me on there. I don't have the skills for it, but I'm going to go to my super special secret discord channel and type in some code words for something. And you see that it goes from my normal no text to speech account to no text to speech too. And that's because we're in the same server and I just go back. So this is something you can completely do and I use it all the time and there's no cons to it actually. I lied, there's one con. And that con is that the Discord stable build and the Discord PTB have the same icon. And I am very bad with organization and uh, getting context clues. So just be careful when you're dragging over files into Discord using the taskbar, because you know, you might be sending a cute picture of your butthole to the boys and you might accidentally throw it in your Discord server. So just be careful, you know, and if I do send you one of those, it wasn't on purpose. Have a great night and stay safe. Whoa, hold on there. Let's say you're done and you don't want all these instances of Discord and you wanna remove them. Well, it's actually really easy. All you need to do is just type in add or remove programs into the Windows search menu and you will see all this stuff and you just need to type in Discord and you will see all three instances of Discord and you can uninstall whatever one you don't want. And that's it, that's how easy it is.